Hi everyone, welcome back to my vlog. Today is another realistic day in my life and I'm starting out my Sunday morning with groceries and a groceries haul. So my partner and I get groceries delivered from Whole Foods. Uh, for us, that seems the most easiest and convenient way for us to get groceries, especially a lot of specialty items. We're a small household, it's just me and him, so getting these groceries delivered are within our budget and, you know, it works for us. Okay. So my counter is really small, but I did manage to fit everything I got for groceries on the counter. Just a quick note. Um, I am currently on a vegan diet. My partner is not. So therefore, when I go through this haul, as you can already see, there are two items here that are not vegan. And that's for my partner. I don't I don't touch the sandwiches or the eggs at all throughout. Okay, so starting on this side, I got some kale. This is one whole bunch of kale. I got cuties, mandarin, would be like a good snack to have throughout the week. Then we have um, asparagus. Oh, and right, right hidden between the asparagus is a cucumber. Really giant cucumber. I thought it would be smaller, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, I have some blueberries, which I always like to eat for breakfast and such. And then... I also got this week, which I normally don't get, it's not part of like our regular, is two uh, sweet potatoes, which I'm excited about. I haven't had sweet potato in a while, so I'm excited to cook these. Uh, I got three bananas, so they sell it like by quantity, so it's like 40 cents each. I get three because that's easier, and I'm not having a whole bunch, like I'm not buying a big bunch. I don't really, we don't eat them that quickly, so like three is enough for the week. Or at least for me, because I do tend to have them like every other day. Uh, rice crackers, which are also a good little snack. I like having this with hummus and stuff. Um, and then going over here, this one's more for my partner. I'm not a big pickle person, but these are dill pickle chips. Uh, carrot sticks, which I wanted to try. I usually get the carrot chips, but I wanted to try the carrot sticks. So I don't know if there's much of a difference other than like the size, but I do like carrots. I do eat them quite regularly. I got a head of broccoli right here. Um, one can of red kidney beans. It's kind of all I needed. I try to have two cans of like red, black beans and garbanzo beans. And I'm like, I might as well add this to the order and I'll have two cans. <laughs> um, I got my yogurt, which I like to have in the morning. I love this brand, the 365 Almond Milk Non-Yogurt brand. Um, I feel like when it comes to, like, alternative yogurt, I, like, I haven't eaten yogurt in over, like, years. Years. Like, I gave up dairy, like, certain dairy products a lot quicker um, due to stomach issues. But, like, having strawberry almond, like, this has been, these, these, this brand has been, like, the best yogurt that I've come across it's just in terms of consistency taste and it just tastes really good and especially good with like um fruits and stuff um moving on just egg this is for me uh i try not to buy or eat a lot of the alternative products but it's nice to have on hand every once in a while and it goes in the freezer it lasts a while um these two items right here this is uh i don't even know what, what this is hold on okay uh, this is provolone cheese and eggs. So these two are specifically for my partner. He eats these, he has eggs for breakfast, makes himself a lunch sandwich, whatever. This is for him. Um, and then over here, this is one of my favorite snacks is the Made Good Bars. And this is the crispy square vanilla. I love packing these for lunch. Very good. Almond, and the last thing, it seems, it's the almond milk pudding and I love oh man like this again I like the 365 brand I feel like everything they make is like so good um so the almond milk pudding I like to have this as a snack after dinner and it's gluten-free soy free and it tastes really good it's like a nice dark creamy dark chocolate so definitely recommend um but yeah that's everything that I got um like I said uh, are, it varies from week to week because we don't 
we go through like I will have like we will go through this and some of it lasts us the following week so then we don't need to reorder it again like for example eggs because it's only him eating it we order it like every other week but some of the stuff like is this is just for two people like we're not a big household so yeah so that's my grocery haul okay so I knew I was missing one more thing I also got this LaCroix uh, it's 12 cans of sparkling cans. This is mainly for my partner. I'm not a big fan of sparkling water, but this is for him. And again, this is another item that we buy like every other week, depending on how fast it goes. Cause sometimes if we have people over, we do offer them a drink. So yeah, so that's, this is the official end of the grocery haul. So I realized I probably should have filmed how I put this away, but that's okay. It's a note for next time, um, but I haven't, I was prepping these to put away and that's when I remembered. So I'm just gonna go through and how I put away some of my groceries. And here are bell peppers, which were not part of the Whole Foods grocery haul. I got these bell peppers at the local supermarket just because I like to pick out some pretty good peppers. I do get them sometimes from Whole Foods. Um, I just, they were, they had a pretty good deal. So I just bought two red bell peppers and one yellow bell pepper at the sea town down the street so that's why this was included in the haul but i did want to cut it up because i do store all of my or most of my produce i'm not going to say all um into glass containers and so they just last us longer um even till like oh, i would say like about a week and a half depending so this is how i'd like to prep and put things away um so yeah so i have the bell peppers over here I like to put the rice crackers in the jar so I can like see, visually see how I am going through it. Uh, I like putting things in clear containers. I don't know why, but this is the uh, rice crackers. It goes actually up here in the shelf. It doesn't go in the fridge. I have the carrot sticks in a container. Here are the blueberries. Um, I cut up the cucumber and put it in here similar to like how I cut up the red bell peppers. Um, and then I also have the kale in this big container. And this container um, is actually from Ikea. These are from Target, Ikea. And then this is from, uh, hold on. This is from Amazon. It came in like a pack of, I wanna say nine. And it's like different containers. This is one that's like, just one compartment, there's some there, two compartments, three compartments, anyway. Um, but these containers have served me well, especially like these big Ikea ones, they hold food for a very long time and they keep them fresh too because of the sealed tight, air tight thing here. But yeah, so this is how I keep most of my produce. And then I also have this thing to help organize my fridge a bit more. And I put all of the LaCroix drinks, look La LaCroix, wow, um, drinks in here and just slide this into the fridge. And this is not all of them. I think it's like a pack of um, three, six, nine, it's 12. <laughs> so I'm missing three. And those three I actually keep down here. Uh, ignore this, ignore the liquor. You know, I am an adult, but still. Uh, so this is where I keep like the potatoes cause it's good if they're stored in like a dark, not temperature, whatever place. But I also have the uh, last three LaCroix here. So, you know, once there's room to put those three in the fridge, we do, but yeah. So this is how I store so many. Okay, so the last thing I'll show you is I do have this egg container that I bought from Anthropology. I want to say like almost two years ago when I came to, uh, when I was living in Vermont and went to visit New York City, I found this really cool egg container. So I keep all of the eggs in there. Here's another, here's like a closer view just to show you. It's pretty cool. It holds eggs and I think, I don't know, it's better than having the carton in there. But so this is how I store eggs for my partner. It's also how I can tell if we're out or not. And then I also have this container, which is part of the set of the other one where you saw the LaCroix. Um, it's like, it was like, this is from Target. It was from a set of four. And I used uh, one of these in the fridge to store all of the 
deli meats and stuff that my partner uses. And then another one of these to store like my kind of thing. So I have hummus. This is from last week. I haven't finished going through it yet. I have two of my almond puddings there. The other two are on the side door because they don't all fit here. But I have three yogurts. This is from, one of these is from last week. I should probably, actually I'm going to do this instead because I think I always like to eat the one that was left over from the previous week before I tackle the new ones. So there we go. So I have the two yogurts and such. And then, yeah, so I can just like grab it and go if I need to. But, okay, that'll be the last thing I show you from my groceries. Like, I do try to be a little organized when I store them. I do live in a very small space, but, you know, we got to try our best, right? So, yeah, I am now I'm going to go make some breakfast. I do have a full day plan today. I will be heading to New Jersey with friends to go to this arcade, bowling alley, batting cage type place. So I do, it's already nine o'clock. So I do want to get ready because we're leaving around noon and I still want to eat breakfast. I want to get dressed and, you know, I don't like to rush things. I like to have some chill time in between going from one place to another. So that's just me. Anyway, I'm going to go do that. Okay, so here is my breakfast. Uh, it's a toasted English muffin with avocado and nutritional yeast with a side of an impossible savory sausage. Very simple, super realistic. This is how I tend to eat. I'm not a I don't know. Breakfast is like a very mild meal. I feel like dinner is where like I get a lot of it and then lunch is kind of like, eh, depends. Um, I am going to pack some snacks before I go because I don't know what the food situation is on where we're going, but I'm not worried. There's so much more vegan options these days that I'm not. And also like my friends are pretty accommodating and understanding even though they're not vegan. So it's, I'm not worried, but I will pack snacks because I do get like hungry <laughs> if I'm like walking or doing things or, you know, like if I'm active, I get hungry and I like to have some snacks. So I will pack those and show you what I pack. Um, so I'm going to sit down right now at my counter and eat breakfast and watch some YouTube. So yeah, see you in a bit. So here is my snack container. Yes, I know this is for a child. We don't have a child. I considered myself the child of this family, so therefore I got this big thing. I like it. I think it's a pretty nifty idea. And I got, this is the bigger size. I feel like you saw, I feel like everywhere, like the smaller version of this was like on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, everywhere. But I got the bigger size, the one with like the big compartment, like right there. Um, and I liked it. I've used this. I've used this to go apple picking, to go to the park and it's convenient. I think it's a cool concept. I see no reason why an adult can't use it. So this is what I'm going to use to pack my snacks. So I'm going to go do that and then I'll show you what I'm taking. So here is a container all full. As I said, I am the child of this household and I need snacks. <laughs> so here are all the vegan snacks that I packed. So starting over here, or um, this is called Mary's Gone Cheese Crackers. It's actually a vegan plant-based cheddar cracker, I guess, similar to Cheez-Its. Um, this I bought, I found and bought at Westside Market by, right by my job. It is a bit pricey. See, it's like $6.99, but I do like it. They also have like a green box, which is like an herb kind of cracker, which was like my first intro to this. So... This is a regular, like, basic cheddar, um, but I do like it. It's very tasty. Uh, next thing is over here in the big compartment, I got um, veggie sticks. And here's my container of veggie sticks. So this, uh, this is actually is from Whole Foods. I bought a bag of veggie sticks and just stored it in here. And because it's like a pantry item, it doesn't go bad. So I've had this for, like, about four weeks now. And because, like, this pop container is so good like it keeps it airtight so it hasn't like gone stale or anything so that's pretty good and again I buy like this, these veggie chips I think like 
every two months because like I go through them pretty slowly and I'm glad like it's also a pantry item so it doesn't like spoil as quickly. Uh, over here I put some carrot sticks that I showed you this morning from my grocery haul and a cutie. I peeled it because it didn't really fit when it was like in its unpeeled. Um, but I think it'll, it'll be fine. Like I'm not worried about these two items because I think um, the reason I picked these is to because I think they can do pretty good in room temperature and it's also like cold outside and I'm not going to like an extreme heated place so I'm not worried that these will spoil or anything so that's pretty much everything it's pretty much my snack band that I'm taking so I'm gonna go finish getting ready and um, I will see you when I'm in Jersey So my friends and I went to a place called Humdinger's in Para Paramus, New Jersey. Sorry, it took me a minute to figure out how to say that. And it's pretty much a arcade, bowling alley, um, batting cage combo. And they had all these like arcade games on one side. And then they had a bowling alley on another end of it. And then a batting cage on another side. And Pretty much my friends and I did like everything. We played some arcade games while we waited for our turn to bowl. Then we bowled for an hour. And then after bowling, we went straight to the batting cages, as you will see. And I tried to include as much clips as possible. I am not a big film person when I'm with friends. I feel like I get, I'm very focused in like the present moment. And I know I've said that before. Um, but I did have so much fun and it is like a fun little thing to do outside of New York City. Like if you do live in New York City and want something like different to do, I definitely suggest coming to Humdingers and with a group of friends and just, you know, spending some time here, especially in the cold days that we've been having lately here. They actually did have um, vegan options on the menu. They're actually very allergy and dietary friendly. I think it's because they have a lot of kids parties and so they wanted to make sure they cater to all needs. I ended up having an impossible burger plain and nothing too special with uh, french fries. After the arcade, some of us stopped at H Mark because why not? It's, it was back on the way to the city, and we like this was a really big H Mark, which you don't really find a lot um, in Manhattan. So we ended up stopping here. I did pick up some items. I found some gluten free vegan dumplings, which I'm excited to try, and this vegan barbecue steak which also looks interesting and I'll show you both in a minute but yeah like it was just a fun little stop I don't know if you have an H mark near you but it is like fun to see like different products that you don't normally see in like commercial supermarkets so um, these are the two things that I picked up while we were there and here we are on our way back to Manhattan. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, please let me know if you like this style of vlog. I feel like I did a lot of talking. 
Um, if you enjoy the grocery haul, just let me know. As I mentioned, and I will continue to mention, I will be trying to post on a weekly basis. Um, please be patient with me as I get the hang of it. So thank you again. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are, and I will see you next time.